Hi there, I'm Melanie from Parents Matter Hue and Valley. We're a new group, hopefully you've been following us on Facebook. Uh, checking out our website if you want some further information as well. We're going to be doing some of these little videos and chatting to some of the employers and trainers and educators in the valley and finding out some further information so you can help your kids with options post grade 10. With me today I have Joe from the Huon Valley Council. He works in HR and we're going to have a little bit of a chat about some of the options at council as far as careers go. Hey Joe, how are you doing? Very well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for being our first interviewee. <laughs> Pleasure. Um, I've got a few little questions we'll go over. Hopefully we won't take too long, we won't bore our audience. We'll just give them some good information, I hope. So can you give me a little bit of an idea about some of the careers and job options that are available at council? Well, council have about 187 employees uh, currently, which we work down about about sort of 141 full-time equivalent, so yep. you know, uh, quite a decent number of employees. Yeah. Yeah. And professions within the council, we have a variety of uh, sections within the organisation, like community services. We have administration, planning, civil engineering, got everything from medical uh, establishments and so forth. So thing from nurses to GPs. Um, sports centre operators, so you've got pool, pool operators, etc. Yep. Waste management, obviously we have things like human resources, qualifications and those side of things, communications, media and various other ones, so a real mix yeah. across the board. Yeah, so what kind, of, uh, what kind of jobs might there be in council? I guess you've perhaps gone over some of them yeah. that people would not be expecting to be in council, so I think you probably just, people think yeah. of council workers, right? <laughs> yeah. As being the ones standing on the side of the road, but it's pretty broad. Well, I think it's the broadness that counts there. Ultimately, yeah. it's probably most, if you think of a career, there's probably something within the organisation. If you like your parks and your gardens, there's an opportunity there. That's probably more obvious. Yeah. You know, behind the scenes, things like um, NRM, which is you know, looking after the environment and so forth, environmental mm -hmm. protection side of things. Um, childhood educators, so getting out there and looking after children and so forth, building up there, it's got a big strong point of what we do, but not all organisations do it. Yeah. Um, construction and so forth as well. Are there options for kids straight out of grade 10 with on the job style training, traineeships, um, vocational yeah, stuff? Yeah, we, we do, and um, ultimately through uh, various different areas, we do have a trainee customer service, we always have mm -hmm. that annually, so once a year we recruit a new trainee, uh, get the experience of, of local government, which is a really solid embedment in the front counter, so quite yeah. a strong one. Uh, early head child educators, and we give them diplomas, so forth, and, and um, so forth like that. So got, what yeah, you, okay. We also look at other options in different other areas if, if it comes up. Great. So there's some options grade from straight from grade 10, yeah. but of course other options right through from university degrees. Yeah. So what kind of attributes and qualifications and training are you looking for when you're looking for employees? I think or a range of everything. Um, you know, not just degree qualified people. We have obviously different levels throughout the organisation, so entry level stuff. Mm -hmm. um, attributes wise, I think like all good employees, Good hard working, honest yep. integrity. We've got some good culture and um, good values here that we try to stick to. We award that, those sort of things. Um, and for the, uh, someone who's looking for a long term career that can move around and do different things, uh, flexible and. Yeah, great. And, and, great and does it help if they live in the valley? Um, look, it's always like really, to get, it's really great for us to get someone local. We like mm -hmm. to support local uh, employment, most definitely. Anyone who doesn't have to travel too far, they understand the local community, get to know people and support their community and work is always a nice thing. Yeah, fantastic. Um, what about you? Just give us a quick background on how you got your position, maybe? Well, I actually, I actually arrived here a couple, a couple of years ago after mm -hmm. working for a small uh, council in WA uh, Shire. So sort of a, a smaller uh, group of people, but essentially the same sort of rural community. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been working in, in uh, recruitment and uh, HR since about 26 years ago. Um, got my teeth in England and uh, eventually came back, came over here and here I am now. So, yeah, okay, great. Nice. So a good council background, but yeah, moved around a bit. bit of, yeah, a bit of both. Yeah. Okay, I think that's probably a really great start. If somebody wants to see what kind of jobs are available mm. at council or apply for a job, how can they do that, Joe? Well, it's always important for them to keep an eye on our website. We always have okay. all our current roles. All our jobs are advertised to the newspapers and places like Seek. Yep. And that's really the key to making it equitable for everyone so that everyone gets the opportunity. Yep. Very rarely is a, is a role filled any other way. Uh, and that would be mostly because there's very specific skill sets that maybe already exist. 
sometimes a trainee might get the opportunity to stay in a position and so forth. So generally keep an eye out there and right. keep proactive. We will have links to the council website on our website. So as we get up and running a bit more, there will be links to all of that on our website as well. So if you're wanting to have a look at what kind of options are available um, at council, we'll have a link to that on our website. Thanks for joining us today, Joe. Hopefully you've got a bit of information. We'll see you all next time.